They are quite something to look at, Josh. That they are. Yes, it, I mean, it looks like E.T., essentially. And I see it. there was a, a spotting above government camp, too, from what I'm looking at right there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> they, they're what here. is going on? They're upset about the story, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, just had to have a little bit of fun. We'll, we'll go ahead and get that out of here. It's obstructing our view of the bright blue sunny skies that we're seeing out over government camp. 63 degrees is where we currently sit. So slightly on the cooler side, but all of that sunshine really allowing for our temperatures to start to warm up. And we're actually getting in on a bit of that sunshine over places like the Vancouver waterfront. All thanks to our hotel Indigo Kirkland Tower camera. Temperatures now on the rise almost to 70 degrees and we'll expect to see our daytime highs into the upper 70s, low 80s as we work our way into the afternoon hours. Still seeing just a few of those clouds drifting overhead, but for the most part, we are going to get in on a lot more sunshine as we move into the afternoon and evening hours. There's the last little bit of cloud coverage still hovering over the Portland area, pulling its way to the south, all thanks to that northwesterly flow that we continue to see, and that in turn will help to warm us up eventually as we work our way through the rest of this week. So right now we are seeing the remnants of this weakening front that is now pushing through the high plains and those clouds are going to be on the move with it. Now you may notice this next cold front quickly racing its way into the Pacific Northwest. Unfortunately, high pressure is going to be strong enough to put a block on that. So anything that does push our way will quickly fizzle out as the sunshine once again starts to build across our area. And as high pressure does just the same, it's going to be dry driving the jet stream further to the north, creating this nice ridge for us, which allows that desert southwest heat to push itself up into the western sections of Oregon and Washington. That's where we could potentially be breaking some records as those temperatures yet again are on the rise back up into the 90s for us. And even as early as tomorrow, the top row, that's our forecasted daytime highs that we expect to see tomorrow. 90 degrees for Portland, that's going to be threatening the old record last set back in 1995 of 90. 92. Don't think we'll be breaking records out towards Salem or out towards Astoria, but Portland will be keeping a close eye on those numbers during the afternoon and evening hours as typically for the month of September, we should see those daytime high temperatures in towards the mid to upper 70s. Now over the next week to two weeks, we do expect to see near normal temperatures, which puts us in that mid to upper 70 range. But as far as the precip goes, also expecting to see the return of some wetter weather, which is going to be a nice little change of pace for us because September, typically our third driest month of the year, but you'll notice as we work our way through the rest of the year, that's where we exponentially start to see an increase in the wet weather trend. 78 degrees, dry skies today as those clouds start to break free. Winds out the north northwest at about 5 to 10. Again, for some of us, it's going to be a slow clearing process, but we will eventually get those temperatures back up into the upper 70s, low 80s as we fall to about 57 tonight. Mostly clear skies. Again, winds out the north northwest at about 5 to 10. So our seven day forecast is spelled out as followed. Seeing a lot of sunshine there in those summer like temperatures back to the low to maybe mid 90s for some of us. We're going to pick up a little bit on an easterly wind. Those are the down sloping winds that sometimes speed up, but also warm and dry us out. So we're watching those numbers on Thursday and Friday very closely where we could potentially be breaking some records, but we cool things off significantly by the start of next week, increase the cloud coverage, low 70s. It's going to start to feel like fall around here. I am ready for it. I'm, I'm ready for it too. Over these 90s, I was hoping yeah. the last time was the last hurrah. I think this will be the last okay. one. Okay, okay. Yeah. Happening now, Saul's annual fall beach and riverside cleanup. There are 